Do you remember this TikToker? She went viral a few months ago after posting this video of herself helping a homeless man. Huh? Some tea. Tea? Tea. Some tea. hot tea. Some hot tea? Yeah. I'm walking to Trey Joe's. You want to walk with me? Trey Joe's? Yeah. Okay. And we can stop by Starbucks or something. Say hi to my TikTok. This video went viral with over 30 million views, and she helped the homeless man by setting up a GoFundMe page and raising $400,000 for him. Now she's going viral again after spilling shocking updates about the homeless man, and as it turns out, the two are no longer talking to each other. The situation went from being positive to negative real quick. This video of Nye helping a homeless man named Alonzo touched the hearts of many on TikTok. And because of how heartbreaking Alonzo's condition was, along with having cancer, Nye used her platform to set up a GoFundMe page for him. As you can see, I started, I had a goal of $10,000. Let's see where this goes. Maybe this will go on the right people's for you page. Everything is gonna go towards him. What happened next completely blew Nye's mind because with the help of her followers, she managed to raise not only $10,000, but $400,000 for Alonzo. A few months have passed by and people online began noticing that Nye no longer posts about Alonzo. This left many people wondering what happened to the homeless man and whether or not he got his money. And to everyone's shock, Nye answered these questions by posting multiple videos explaining that Alonzo and she are no longer in contact, which all started when Alonzo began telling Nye little lies, which made her suspicious of him. When Alonzo hopped on the phone, oh, hey, niece, oh, hey, unk, I have not talked to you in a week. What's going on? Oh, what happened was when I was washing my clothes, I left the phone in the pocket and yeah, water damage. A few days go by and I'm back. I'm like, hey, I'm back to pick the phone up, like, where is it? Oh, what happened was I ended up smashing the phone. Nye got even more upset when she discovered that Alonzo had been inviting someone shady to his hotel room, the exact hotel room that Nye had been paying for him. He's been bringing somebody pretty much every day for about a month. But keep in mind, like, the ladies that were explaining to me whoever they were bringing to his room were making it seem like it was a bad thing. So in my head, I'm thinking it's a bad thing. But the most frustrating part for Nye was getting Alonzo to fix his document so he could claim his $400,000. You see, Alonzo needed to submit an ID for GoFundMe to release his funds. But instead of doing this, he made up plenty of excuses and refused to cooperate. So I want to take a pause here real quick to explain the GoFundMe stuff so you guys understand why he hasn't been able to touch the money. They need Alonzo's approval. They need Alonzo to go get an ID, go get certain things, sign a document, take a photo with it, and that way, you know, they can release the funds. I'll be like, Unc, you get your ID, you get your ID, because at this point, I understand he needs his ID so he can be able to get his money and we could just get him in a good situation. I'm just really fighting so hard for somebody that's not even fighting for themselves. I haven't heard from him since and I just got to the point where I can't keep stressing myself out. Alonzo has yet to receive his money. Meanwhile, Nye learned a valuable lesson that sometimes protecting your peace is all she could do and now she's decided to focus on herself until Alonzo comes back.